How ya? Dear Wit, and welcome to episode 55 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on grinding, milling, and baking. Thank you uh, to all of you uh, that have so far commented on um, episode 53, I believe. Um, the input that you've uh, given has uh, every single comment basically has been food for thought. Apt as we are now going to become millers and bakers. So finally, after many episodes, the gamester is going to be making some decent food. Well, nearly. Um, we're going to start by making. Oops, let's get rid of that, because we don't want that. We're going to start by the very first step, which is, of course, making the grindstone. So we've got a new tool that we're going to be using, we've not touched before, so we'll start by making that. So if we bring up the recipe window, by clicking there, and if we now type in grind, there we go, there's our grindstone. Now, the grindstone, when I used to play Worm Online, the grindstone was the way that people grinded the uh, stone cutting skill and masonry. Okay, that is, they would, you'd go into people's minds, public minds, and you would see stacks of grindstones. So, I try to tell you, don't I, how to skill up each skill. For your stone cutting, it will be making grindstones because you, you could make wet stones, but I believe you get more experience through grinding grindstones. <laughs> um, and as you're going to see, they are very difficult to make. Now, if I was to give you an example, Okay, let's give you an example because it's always good to give examples of what I'm waffling about. Okay, so let's go into my pocket. Let's find my... Um, oh, it's going to be one of them episodes. Let's find... There we go, my whetstone. Now, check out the whetstone. Okay, it, its quality level is 67.80. Now, that... That was when my mining was lower, by the way, okay? Uh, yeah, you can see it's just above, but you're able to make them above your skill, okay? Because my mining must have been on about, I don't know, 65 or 66. Anyway, it made it much higher. It made it higher. Uh, it depends on the quality of the rock shard, I guess, that you're using as well, Hopes helps. So... Notice the weight though, it uses a lot less than the grindstone, as you're going to see. But, for some reason, people chose the grindstones. Personally, I think you'd be better off really making whetstones, because you're going to use less rep rock. It all boils down to, okay, the fact is, do you like mining? If you like mining, like me, then grindstones is a good way to train up your skill. If you don't like mining and thereby you want to cut down on the amount of rock shards you're using because you're chew through rock shards using making grindstones then you would skill up making wet stones. So there you are, we have a clear definition of both. But anyway, let's make this grindstone. So we'll right click, you can see it needs a stone chisel and a rock shard which luckily I've got in my pocket. So let's right click and add it to the crafting window. Okay, so what we'll do, let's whack it to four just to show you how difficult it is. Now we're not going to fail, don't get me wrong, but observe please the quality level of these grindstones. Okay, so notice the skills, them two skills, plus we're getting the stone chisel. Okay, now let's have a look. You'll see Okay, whetstone, I made four of them, one of them was quality level 67.80. I've made four of these, 
and you can see they are all staying around the same. Basically what that should be telling you is now first of all you're saying well what's capped it to 10? Why is it so low when your whetstone is so high? Um, I looked into it to check. I checked the skills. The skills it uses like I say is masonry stone cutting and stone chisel. The same skills used for the whetstone. So there's some other factor which limits making grindstones. It may well be because it gives you more experience. It um, doesn't give you a high quality. You have to grind this skill of stone cutting up very high in order to get a decent quality grindstone. Okay, let's now so notice the weight as well, okay? The weight of the whetstone, like I mentioned, is 0 0.30, hardly anything. The weight of a grindstone is three kilograms. So huge, huge difference. You see it's chewed through the rock shard there, eaten through it. There's the difference and the difference is more skill gain making these, but it will chew through your materials quicker. Okay, let's see, what else did I want to mention about the um, grindstone? Let's just have a quick look at what it says. Forgive all the open windows, we won't close these now. Let's right click, let's click on find Wormpedia. Okay, used for milling grain to create flour. The types of grain this can be used with is barley, oat, rye and wheat. After milling, the flour needs to be mixed with water to create dough, then baked in a fire, oven or forge to create bread. Question. What of them three would you choose? Well, personally, I would always recommend, of course, our friendly oven. If you're doing cooking of any kind, good habits always say stick to your oven, because it will make your cooking uh, materials it will improve, you'll get more consecutive uh, good qualities using your oven. Just like with smelting your ores, like I've mentioned already, always in your forge with your ores. So there we go, there is our grindstone. So we now have the tool to use. Let's put one, actually, you know what, let's just drop them all on the ground, why not? You can't put them in the uh, BSB. Let's show you. So here's a BSB, let's open it up. Let's try and drop them in. There you go, see, that's what happens if you try and do it. It won't actually destroy them, it just tells you they'd be destroyed. So what we'll do is we'll just drop them on the ground, bang. There we go, pile of rubbish. Right, okay, so you did notice earlier that I had done a rare grindstone. So, and you see it was the same quality. I did this one ages ago, because yeah, I was doing some serious grinding. Right, okay, let's put the rock shard in the bin, because we won't need that. Close that window. Okay, so we have our grindstone. Now, previously I mentioned to you, okay, what my choice was gonna be was barley. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a load more. I like to keep my barley level at about 1,000, as you should, because it can be used for healing covers, it can be used for taming, for feeding animals, it can be used for making flour, which is what we're going to do. So let's grab four of them. Okay, so let's now make some flour. Now, if you're going to make loads, and I strongly recommend you make loads, okay? You, you will want to make loads. I will not tell you why. I will simply show you the progress as we go through to making our end product. And um, then I will explain. Well, actually, no, because the trouble is, if I like to do that, but if I do it, I'll forget, and then you won't know. So let's just tell you. The trouble is I've forgotten already what I was going to tell you. Right, okay, let's make the... Uh, the uh, the flour. Now if you're doing, I would say that you need to make, because its uses is going to be so apparent later on, I would recommend making 500. Why? You're going to see why. Now 
If you're going to make 500, you would use the recipe window. Because I'm only going to make four, I'm going to show you old school. So we activate the grindstone, right click the barley, go to create, resources and flour. Now when you're first starting this, it's going to use the milling skill. When you first start this, your milling obviously will be on one and the creation chance will be on about 43-40% depending on the quality level of your grindstone. The higher you get your grindstone, the higher the creation chance. I believe, I've not actually tested it because I've only just started milling and it's been years since I was creating flour. So, but you'll notice this goes up as your milling skill goes up. So actually it's probably just the milling skill which increases your chance. So let's create the flower anyway, enough waffling. Right, okay, so here we go. You will notice milling is going up even nicely and so when I therefore try and create more flower, the chance of success will be increased. I am presuming that the quality of the grindstone will help improve it as well. Well, it can't be no worse, that's for sure. Wow, you see I failed a lot there. But you see the skill's gone up slightly. So that's why I say make about 500. Why? In the cooking episode, I will tell you why. Right, okay. Right, let's just do this last one. See, it's on 60% now. So it's going up nicely. Worm unlimited, nothing takes much time to do. Right, the next thing I want to show you. The beauty of making flour is you do not have to use it yet, okay? What you can simply do is bang, drop it in your BSB. So what you can do is you can have a session um, making flour and then you can store it all up in your BSB for the next time that you want to move on to the next step, which of course will be making dough. Flour is just used for that one sole purpose of making dough. So let's grab them back out. And now then, let's show you making dough. Okay, I'm just checking that I haven't jumped by anything because there are so many things that I want to mention to you. Okay, so to make dough, we will need water as well. Okay, so what we can do, let's show you this time using the recipe window. Okay, so up here we'll type dough. There we go. You see, needs water, needs flour. Let's add the dough. Let's now create. This skill you'll notice, interestingly enough, will use cooking and baking. Excellent way to grind your cooking and baking skills. So how was the best way to grind cooking and baking? Making dough, without a doubt. Why does it beat making any other cooking foods or especially why does it beat bread? Because you don't have to light your forge. That's why you can do it wherever you want you don't have to be near your forge and you don't have to use fuel and wood to make it. You just simply can grind up your cooking and baking, making dough. So that's the way I'd recommend for grinding that skill up. Okay, so, must have had a lot of failures. Oh no, I didn't drop them all in there. Okay, let's create the rest. Now you'll also notice, by the way, that I started with a quality level of 67.07, okay? Because of my skills, notice how it's taking a hit each time, the quality level, and look at that one, that is just quality level one. So I don't believe in the grand scheme of things it matters much because you're going to see in the, the cooking episode 
its use and so you'll realize it doesn't really matter it's all good when it comes to making dough okay let's just make these last two getting our skills up nicely let's do the last one notice how much water it's using as well so have plenty of water with you right okay so there is our dough let's see is there anything else for oh yeah let's now right click and have a look what it says let's close the crafting window so we can see what we're doing okay so made from flour and water will create bread when heated in a fire which is what we're going to do next dough can be added directly to meals to make them larger well there you go I wanted to save it to the cooking episode but bang that's just giving it away well there we go that is the just absolute fantastic reason to make your dough you can beef up your meals no pun intended by the way but you can make them bigger so what a fantastic way hence why you want to do 500 why 500 well a thousand in fact why a thousand because every day when you log in if your food's rotted away or you've eaten it all you need to make more so you're going to be doing it nearly every day making some food just one meal perhaps or a couple of meals or a few meals or if you want to grind up the cookings your hot food cooking we'll get to that and jump in the head but there we go it adds seven difficulty to the making of the meal Remember, when you if you want optimum skill gain, you will try to make something um, that is about 10 uh, levels, quality levels higher than your actual skill when it comes to cooking and when it comes to imping. Okay, just remember that. That's a golden rule to that. Well, it used to be. That was many years ago when I was playing. Four years ago, five years ago, I read about that somewhere in the forums or in Worm, heard it in a chat channel. Um, it may have changed, but as far as I am aware, that is the case. Okay, let's make this bread. Enough waffling. So we'll stick the dough in the oven. Ah, quickly show you, if I can, before it heats up. It also can be stored in the BSB because I've put it in the oven though it's heated it up I've got to wait for it to cool down but you can store your dough in the BSB as well sorry I should have meant show I wanted to show you that before I started cooking it but I rushed ahead that's a strange thing isn't it for tree beard junior to start rushing well he is only junior so he does still make many mistakes as you have all clearly observed so far so okay right we're just now waiting for this to turn into our bread and observe the skills that we uh, gain we can put the grindstone away for now my forge I managed to get it to 53 quality so I haven't really I didn't really go that high to be honest with you I've been like um, doing other things I was um, making a load of grindstones and I'm gonna carry on making them in fact um, because I'm while I'm doing these cooking episodes I'm preparing myself for that advanced prospecting and mining episode ton of information I want to give you really seriously I know a lot of you are adept at uh, your mining and prospecting but for those of you that uh, still were looking for a few tips oh boy have I got some good ones for you seriously uh, there is just so much to each skill in this game that's why you know I always say that I probably missed still a lot of information out but then that's great because when all of you make your videos um, it's you all have you should all show new things you all bring something new to the table on that subject symbian has uh, made a new video so i'm sure i've subscribed to him if i haven't i'll subscribe to him that way you can just go into my channel and click on him and you can have have a look although i believe in the in um 
the last episode he did leave a comment with a link so there you go symbiont's got a new video out so check that out and we'll see what he's been up to he's going to show he's showing us his progress cool wow this dough is taking time and like my my oven is on 50 quality but hey hopefully it should be miraculously changing any moment there we go right so there's our first bit of bread before I forget bread can also be stored in the BSB there that is so fantastic because it means you can make a ton of bread and if you get starving you can simply eat some bread you can go back to basics um, shame there's no butter I like a bit of butter with my bread but there you go you can make bread you can make a ton of it and you can store it in your BSB it's again because you'll be cooking all the time constantly um, you'll have it there to use right let's take a look at what it says about bread notice the weight of the bread isn't that fantastic I mean you add enough of them you make a meal really big I'm not sure how many you can fit in a bowl but we'll check that out when we get to the cooking the hot food cooking episode okay let's see what it says so let's close the oven we won't be needing that Bread is made by grinding cereals, wheat, rye, oat or barley. I recommend barley because of all the many uses. It has the most uses than any of them other grains. So barley is your golden grain. With a, so bread is made by grinding cereals with a grindstone. To make flour, they're mixing, yeah, wah, wah, wah. It's a, I've already shown you all of that. But what I haven't shown you is it uses one kilogram per 0 0.30 kilograms of flour to make dough. So there we go. <coughs> oh, I knew I wasn't going to get away with making an episode without coughing. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, okay, so there we are, and I've told you about that. Bread is often used to add weight to various food dishes. Yeah, there you go, ruining my hot food cooking episode. I like to leave a little surprise and you're taking it away from me, Wormpedia. You're taking it away from me. But can be used in itself to create a meal providing that a spice is added. Ah, well, you see, I didn't mention that. That's why it's always useful to read these little Wormpedias when you right click. When combined with cheese, bread can also be used to make a sandwich. Oh, guess what? We will be doing just that, because the dairy episode is the next episode. Bread can also be eaten by itself, but has a low nutritional value, and will therefore not restore much hunger. It's just for emergencies, bread, but I'd always recommend beefing up your meals with it. And uh, yeah, I'll look into that with spice. I didn't even know that that's something new added so we'll definitely be doing that in the hot food cooking episode and we'll also be making sandwiches in the next episode which I must remember to do anyway we'll leave the bread there for now to can't put it, we, we are going to put it in the BSB but only when it's cooled down right okay let's move on now so what else do I need to tell you well, you may have observed it uses the cooking and the baking skills, just like when we made the um, dough. Okay, so there we go with that. Right, okay, time for a pro tip. And this is a very good pro tip. This will save you a huge amount of fuel. I'm talking about if we uh, spoke about over the next year. Okay, this is going to save you a huge amount of fuel. If you want to save a ton of fuel, let's say, let's give you an example is the best way to put this pro tip. You log in every day and you're going to make a meal every day. Or, or you're going to, yeah, if you're going to make a meal every day, let's keep this simple. The best way to use your fuel to make a meal every day is to simply go into your BSB that you've conveniently put next to your forge next to your oven like I have done you will grab one kindling just one ki no not 77 sometimes I really wish I'd listen to what I'm saying 
Right, you'd grab one kindling, and that's all you will use to cook your meal. Trust me when I tell you, to cook a meal, whether it's a casserole, whether it's a meal, whether it's any other type of food, you only need to light your forge, providing your food is in there ready to be cooked, that will be enough fuel to cook your meal. Now if you're going to go into a grinding session with your cooking, then obviously that isn't enough because it's going to it'll last about 5 minutes a single kindling and then the up forge will go out. But to do one meal, it's plenty. So there you are, great pro tip for you. You probably all knew that. I probably should have just kept quiet, but there we go. There's my pro tip. Let's put that back in the right container. And let's mention the last thing before I finish this episode. Not a long episode, I know, but there you go. Right, okay, so that's out the way. The last thing for me to, to announce then is the next competition. Now, I thought about all, there's so many competitions I would love to do with you all. And guess what? We are going to do them all. It's just a bit of fun. No one has to do the competitions if you don't want to. You might have no desire to join me in Rainstorm. You might think I'm too crazy to play with, and that's all right. Everyone is entitled to their own opinions. But if you do wish to come and play with me in Rainstorm, here's your ticket to getting to our world. Okay, this competition is going to be a baking competition. The winner will be the person who makes the highest quality loaf of bread. Okay, now you will have two weeks to uh, improve your baking. Okay, so in two weeks time on this day, which is the 19th of January, is the closing date for this competition. Let's see who, how high someone can get their quality level of their bread. The highest quality level wins the competition and thereby gives you the option to come and join Rainstorm and me on our server in creative mode. So there we go. I hope you like baking and I hope you like milling and I hope you like cooking. So there's an incentive to do them free skills. There is a little snag of course, there is a little snag. Why did I choose making bread? Ask yourselves. I'll tell you why. Because you've got a little hurdle you have to jump over. What is that little hurdle? It is, my friends, the grindstone. Because I've already told you how difficult that is to make. You are going to have to do lots of grinding. And yes, pun intended. You're going to have to do lots of grinding to get your grindstone up. Or you could try and do it with a low quality, but let's see how you get on. Anyway, good luck to you, wherever you are in the world. God bless you, and keep every single last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day, and thank you for joining me. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some dairy work. Goodbye.